Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Magnetic Excursion Update Monday, November 10th, 10.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. G3 Geomagnetic Storming tomorrow or the next day. It is care of a major halo coronal mass ejection that is headed our way. Take a look at that puppy. And is the next iguana apocalypse happening now? Well, stay tuned for the boom and keep calm because it's boom time. The first snow of the season hits the Midwest as the South faces freeze warnings. The first snow of the season struck the Midwest this weekend and more snow is on the way for the North in the next few days while freeze warnings hit the South like a beast. O'Hare closed uh, to some flights overnight. Hundreds of flights canceled today amid Chicago area winter storm. With more lake effect snow warnings continuing across Michigan with hazardous travel conditions in some areas. A quick look at Tornado HQ shows bands of lake effect snow affecting areas of Indiana and now central Pennsylvania. Look at this. Ohio, New York, PA, the snow is falling. Look at that. We've got one severe weather threat, a snow squall in center in Clearfield County in PA, and that was what we had, uh, what we're showing right here. So through central PA, we've got snow squalls moving through. Who knew? Now you do. And is the next iguana apocalypse upon us? Well, according to the map and the full forecast. Frigid cold in the east, snow continues in the Great Lakes. We've got a frigid cold air mass continuing to bring colder weather across the eastern two-thirds of the country early this week. Record low temperatures are expected to be tied or broken across the southeast and into Florida. Freeze and frost warnings move all the way south into the southern tip of Florida and even the Keys. So heed the warnings. It's insane. Periods of snow will continue downwind of the Great Lakes and in portions of interior New England through Tuesday uh, with several inches of snowfall accumulation expected. So heed the warnings. And, well, old man winter is upon us and Al Gore can suck it. Shut up, Al! Get in your hole! No bunt cake for Al. Take a look at these snowfall totals, looking spectacular on the GFS run. Uh, and the big winter chicken dinner is going to be the next few days. Here's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for the Northeast. Some pretty spectacular snow totals there and cold temperatures. And by Thursday and into Friday, a system will move into the West, dumping high elevation snow to many of the ski resorts. Here's the end of next week, Saturday, Sunday. So next weekend as well. The Northeast will be pummeled, and maybe some er areas of the Adirondacks will be accumulating up to four feet of snow. Say it ain't so, but it, it's on the models. Seismic update. Real quick, look at seismicity across the world. Uh, normal activity worldwide, nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Maybe some volcanic activity here in Barbados. 5.5 magnitude kicking off there. Worldwide Volcano News for the 10th of November. Reventador, volcanic ash possible. Santa Guito to 15,000 feet. Planchon, Petaroa. Sporadic emissions today. Volcanic ash emissions not observed at Sungay. Sakonajima, erupting today to 7,000 feet. Semadu, who knew, now you do. An eruption was reported. Fuego, volcanic ash ongoing. No volcanic ash identifiable at Krasininikov. Swanazima. Erupting today to 6,000 feet. Ibu as well to 6,000. Popo to 19,000 feet. Santa Guito, no volcanic ash. Planchon Petodo, a 14,000 foot puff there. Chivalouche is calming down. As well as Kilauea, the 36th fountaining episode has come to an end. The entire live stream over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Rumble. Stromboli volcano, new lava flow overflows on the Sierra del Fuco. I hope that's how you say it. We've got Semadu puffing and passing. Ongoing volcanic ash at Fuego. 14,000 foot blast at Reventador. Ibu, a volcanic eruption reported. And Sun Gate at 23,000 feet. The highest puff today. Popo, ending up the list. 
Aurora alert. The sun fires off two colossal X flares over the last 36 hours with multiple CMEs racing towards Earth. They are cannibalistic. And the last one was a major halo eruption right there. When it is moving away in all directions, all at the same time. That means it's headed directly towards Earth. And Northern Lights are forecast for nine states with this coming storm. Yeah, that means all the northern states through the Great Lakes, the Northeast, and all the way to Washington. There is that long duration flare that just happened about 15, 16 hours ago. That's going to be the biggest presence. So if we come over to look at the WSA, annual solar wind spiral, they've got both of those X flares now modeled. So the first one is going to arrive and the second one will cannibalize it the longer duration, but two X flares, X 1.7 and X 1.1, I believe. And we're going to have a really peak storm here, the 11th through the 12th or slightly earlier. This will be very interesting to watch. Good geomagnetic storming up to G3, and we'll have some amazing aurora, I think, further down into the low latitudes. Currently, telemetry is all quiet. Nothing happening now. The BZ is, is south, but G3 geomagnetic storm forecast the 11th through the 12th. That's what we have for you folks. So get out and look up over the next two nights. Could be spectacular. Also spectacular, the Taurid meteor shower could put its best show on this week. Keep your eyes peeled for fireballs. There is still time to look out for Taurid meteors lighting up November lights, maybe even with Aurora as we see here. If the skies are clear the next few nights, take a few moments to look up. You just might be lucky and catch a glimpse of a spectacularly bright meteor, a torrid meteor streaking across the sky. Maybe one will hit Earth. And, well, all this misery will come to an end. <laughs> like the disinformation about 3i Atlas. It's not an alien ship, folks. But there are remarkable large-scale structures of an anti-tail and multiple jets on this object. And Avi Loeb continues to publish papers how it has a 4% chance of being thrusters on an alien ship. I can't make this up. This guy has got to be paid disinformation. That's the only thing I can think of. He's far too well-dressed. Saturn's moon Enceladus may harbor life, and I think that it in fact does underneath the ice, and we're going to send some probes out there in my lifetime, and our minds will be blown. Just like the minds of the climate catastrophists will be blown if they read this article by Dr. Willie Soon. CO2 is plant food, not a pollutant, and this is a presentation at Hillsdale College on October 17, 2025. Uh, which will be linked below. So go get it. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up. Share this video. The most important thing you can do is help our channel grow by subscribing to the video. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Geomagnetic storming for the next 48 hours. Meow, meow, meow.